humans are uh, complex and our interaction with uh, robots can be somehow uh, unsatisfying. So to take a better look at how we can optimise that human interaction with robots to make the experience smoother and more effective, absolutely delighted now to be joined by Professor Jean-Tien Venture. Uh, Professor, welcome. Thank you very much for inviting me. So what are the limitations today with human interaction with uh, robots? Well, we, we do have uh, a lot of robots that we can see uh, here at the conference and the exhibitions and everything. But these robots are more like industrial robots or robots to be in uh, industrial settings or very closed settings. They're not really interacting with humans. And when they do, they don't have a lot of functionalities. So we still have hardware limitations that we need to overcome. So industrial robots is something on the side, but we're building robots or said like, uh, social robots, um, but they don't have any social function uh, or they don't do anything. And so they're basically just like empty like shells and boxes. Uh, yeah. And what's the problem when we try and design those today? Well, the problem when we're trying to design those is that like most of the robots are made by us, roboticists, engineers, uh, and we are good at doing like technological stuff. We're good at making robots that have like uh, like are like robust or powerful or like uh, not, like yeah. Uh, but we're not good at making robots that are actually useful <laughs> for the people. Indeed. <laughs> well, give me give me an example of that. Um, so, for example, like the robot Pepper um, that we're using a lot in our lab, and I'm very grateful for Southern Robotics to have made that robot, uh, is a very affordable like robot, but it's a big platform. Um, and when you have it in your living room, it is too big for the few functionalities that it actually has. And when you have it in social or like public spaces, uh, it usually has too weak in terms of like sensing abilities and communication abilities. And so basically it's a very fancy uh, tablet holder. Okay. And what's the answer? How do we design better robots more to fulfill our kind of social needs? So I think um, there is a big trend now in, uh, in robotics and in HRI in general, is really working in collaboration with people that are potential users of robots, designers, and people that uh, know how to create uh, interactive systems. Well, give me an example of that. Um, so in my research, one of the examples that I have that I found the most striking is the work that we're doing with ergonomists and designers, where we're trying to understand what are the needs for the young retirees uh, and how, how far the actual robots are from their ideal robots. And when they design, they create these ideal robots in their mind, how when they had an experience with an actual robot, they change this ideal to something that is more probably realistic. Because science fiction, movies, and imagination has created these amazing, like, almighty robots. Um, and everybody wants to have an almighty robot that is, like, tiny, powerful, intelligent, and cute, and sensitive. <laughs> but in the other hand, we have, for example, Pepper, which is like a very bland white box of plastic, quite giant in your living room when you have a tiny house. And it does pretty much nothing except like stare at you. And like, of course, we program it to be a little bit more intelligent than the regular Pepper, but it's still like not perfect, right? And if you ask like, Pepper, can you give me a glass of water? It's just like, I'm sorry, I'm too weak to give you a glass of water. And I don't know where is the glass of water and I cannot turn the tap on. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> So some of the next steps then in, in bridging this gap? So the next step now is that we have collected a tremendous amount of information about these robots, ideal robots that people want uh, to have. So we're um, now uh, prototyping new robots that are smaller than Pepper. And uh, we will conduct the same type of experiments again to see uh, how people like it better than Pepper and if it fits better, their, uh, if it matches better the expectation of the ideal robots. Well, thank you very much indeed for talking to us today. Really appreciate it. It's fascinating stuff, so thank you. Thank you very much.